guys welcome back to my channel so today I decided to get more personal with everybody since I'm new to YouTube um, you guys don't really know too much about me but now you'll know 25 more things about me than you did before so here is my prison background um, I'm in my dorm in bed my beautiful walls Okay, so today I'm going to tell you guys 25 different book facts about me. So you guys can kind of get accustomed to what I like and what I don't like. And just learn some more stuff about me. Okay. <laughs> Cringe. So the first thing is that I rather read at nighttime. Um, I can read during the day because I do it kind of often. But um, I don't know something about just relaxing, winding down, taking a shower, and then laying in bed and reading is so relaxing to me. Like, that is my favorite thing to do. Um, number two is that I did not start the Harry Potter series until I was 20. And I am 20 right now. So I started it back in November, and it is now February. I am on the third book. <laughs> I have watched all of the movies because my family was very into them growing up, so I do kind of know some things, but I don't at the same time. But, like, the huge things that happen, I do already know, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. I'll get over it. Okay, so number three is that when I read and have to stop, I always stop at a chapter, and if I don't, I get anxious about it. I tend to get anxious very, very, very easily, so that's just something that kind of bothers me. I just feel like, I don't know, a lot of times if I stop on a page, I feel like when I come back to it, I have no idea what was happening in the chapter. Along with that, this is a little OCD thing, but um, I have an obsession with odd numbers. I, I wouldn't, I don't know if it's an obsession, but it is OCD with odd numbers. Um. So when I do like plan out where I'm going to stop, it always has to be an odd chapter. So I guess it's kind of weird, but I really, really try not to stop on even chapters because I just hate even numbers. <laughs> Number five, um, I cannot really listen to audiobooks. I've listened to one that I can name that I actually know exactly what happened in it. I get distracted, like my thoughts just come in and when I'm listening to the audiobooks, I just literally can't. Number six, um, the first book that I started, lovely shadow, the first book that got me into reading was The Fault in Our Stars. A lot of people don't like The Fault in Our Stars or John Green's books in general, but I feel like that story just has a little special place to me because when I was 15, um, a really close friend of mine recommended it to me and I really loved it and then I just kept reading after that so that is very special to me. Number seven is I have a really difficult time reading series um, unless I'm like hooked just like so hooked on it. I often want to change up worlds so if I read something that is in a series I won't want to read the next book right away. Um, it really depends. Need a little contemporary romance to um, split it up, and then and then I could finish it if I want to. But for me, series are difficult to read. I don't really know why. I just definitely prefer standalones. But stuff like I haven't finished the Throne of Glass series. I started like two or three years ago, and it's just like I just have no desire to finish it, even though I was into the series. So I don't really know why that happens, but it totally happens. So number eight is my two favorite authors are on two different spectrums. So one is Colleen Hoover and the other one is Cassandra Clare. Um, I have not really read that many Cassandra Clare books. Um, I think I read four. Yeah, I'm in the middle of the Infernal Devices right now. Like I said, I like to split it up, so I'm probably not going to read it anytime soon. But um. I really do like her writing, and Colleen Hoover's something about her books always just friggin' hook me in, like, 
read Verity, please, because it's literally one of my favorite books. Number nine is I do not like rereading books. And although I do keep all of my books, unless I absolutely hate them, I do it more for collection purposes. I like to have my books on my shelves, but it's not necessarily because I want to reread them in the future. Number 10 is something that's so sad to me. I really personally don't know people in my life that read. Um, it really sucks because a lot of times I'll want to talk to people about reading and about like the books that I just read and like I want to recommend books to people. but um. 11 is my favorite genre. My favorite genre is contemporary romance. I really love love. So I like the fluffy things. I like imagining that it's happening to me even though it's not. <laughs> so number 12 is my favorite thing ever with the books are sprayed edges and they are so pleasing to me. If every book that I own could have sprayed edges I would want it like that. Number 13 is I tend to need to have physical copies of books that I've read. Like I said before, I read um, Big Little Lies on audiobook, but I also now own the physical copy because I just like having it in my hands. This whole world is just in your fingertips. Number 14 is I don't tend to annotate anymore. I definitely want to, but I used to um I used to underline stuff in books or like write stuff or dog ear pages, which I don't do anymore. Um I probably won't dog ear pages like in the future, but I do want to practice annotation because it's just really interesting to me and I've been watching videos of how people do it and I think that's definitely going to help me. Number 15 is I usually never read books that are assigned to me in school. <laughs> Something about... I have no idea. Like some of them could totally be good. I have read maybe three, like fully. Um, the first one is The Maltese Falcon and I actually loved that book very much. Um, I'm also reading Mouse right now, which is a graphic novel, and I'm t really, really, really enjoying it. So, I'm trying to get more studious and actually do what I'm supposed to be doing. Number 16 is, usually I am reading more than one book at a time. And I don't enjoy doing it. It makes me really anxious, and I just feel like, I don't know. I used to really be able to do it. Like, I would get back in that book and know exactly what was happening, but... Now, when I'm, like, reading five books at a time, I'm, like, I can't do it. So, I'm t trying to not really do that anymore. Number 17 is when I read, I always have different voices in my head. Like, I won't only just hear my own voice reading the book. Um, I'll hear a boy's voice or a girl's voice or whoever it is. And maybe if they live other places, I'll, <laughs> I'll kind of, like, talk the accent in my head. Like... Harry Potter right now, I'm doing like a British accent when I read it. It's actually really entertaining for me, so that's why I do it. <laughs> Number 18 is I refuse to get a Kindle or a Nook or anything like that. Um, my mom is always like, come on, I'll, I'll get you a Kindle. Like, it'll be so much cheaper for you. And I just will never, ever have a Kindle. Number 19 is that when I read, I prefer to have a candle on. I, honestly, this is just my everyday life, except when I read at school because we can't have candles on in our rooms. Um, when I'm home, as soon as I get in my room, I'll put a candle on. Right now, I have four candles just on my bed, and like, and I, who puts candles on their bed? Um, I have four candles on my desk, and I keep like interchanging them, so whatever I feel like smelling at the time, I'll just put that one on. So I, yeah, I love reading with candles on. Number 20 is I usually need total silence when I'm reading. If I could hear like my roommates talking outside of my room, um, I usually get totally distracted and it, it happens more often times than not. Like, if I'm totally, totally into the book, 
then I can usually kind of like blur it out but usually even if I'm into it it's very very difficult for me with music on with voices with anything on I just really can't focus so everyone needs to shut up <laughs> number 21 is I actually do not prefer either hardback or paperback I usually like either I don't usually people always like say oh I prefer this to this I prefer this to this but I just don't I really like hardbacks because I like when you open them and there's like little designs on the cover and paperbacks aren't like that but also paperbacks are fun so I don't know I just really like both <laughs> okay so this is a shady one um number 22 um I tend to not ever lend books out anymore um yes I do rarely have anybody in my life that reads at all but when I was in high school um and like closer to people that I don't really speak to anymore I would tend to try to like shove books in their face just so I could talk to them about them even if they were like I never read a book in my life um just because I was like I love it and you're my friend so you love it too but whenever that happened um in one instance it took about six months for me to get my book back and it would be like texting every day like bring my book back please bring my book back and of course I would always be giving them books that were one of my favorites so it's very hard when they won't give it back to you and it's it's not even because they don't want to it's because they just keep forgetting and I'm like then I've had an instance where someone lost the book I've had instances where the books were ruined and they had to buy me a new copy and I've also had instances where the books get really super creased like I take very good care of my books okay this has gone through travel um I bring this home in my backpack and it's not creased at all I've been reading it. it's not creased it's not I almost bent it it's not bent it's not it's beat it literally just came out the box Number 23 is I have an issue that I cannot stop buying books and I need to stop. My actual physical TBR that I counted the other day actually is around 100 and it's a few more than 100. I think it was 107. Um, I do own a lot of books but at least half of them I have not read and it's because I just keep buying them number 24 um this is interesting to me so an author that i find really underrated to me is ellen hopkins whenever i watch booktube videos and see ellen hopkins books on people's shelves i'm just like yes like yes good job most of her books i read right after the fall in our stars i read the crank trilogy um Everybody should read Ellen Hopkins, in my opinion. Her books are so fast to get through, and they're so, like, topics that need to be heard about, like, rape and drug abuse and physical abuse and violence and all that, so people should just be reading her stuff. Okay, last fact, number 25. number 25 so usually I don't know if I could call myself a fast reader I I would like to but I'm not often that fast of a reader um so to me if I'm 100 percent to the dot 100 percent in the book I can finish it in one sitting and like my parents will call me for dinner and I'll run upstairs, eat, and run right back upstairs. But if I'm anything under 100% into that book, I will not finish it in one sitting. If Even if it's 99.9%, .9%, I just can't. And I don't really know why. It's like, those are my 25 facts. Um, hopefully you learned something a little more about me. Um, hope you liked it. <laughs>
not hated it and you're like, okay, now she, her number 20 made me mad and now I gotta go. <laughs> I hate myself. Okay, so, um, yeah, so go follow my Instagram. I have my bookstagram in the bio along with my personal account if you wanted to follow both and see my selfies. Um, and then friend me on Goodreads because I always need friends on there. So, thanks for watching.